Hi. <laughs> My name is Allison Bayless. I'm co chef de cuisine at Row 34, Boston. My name is Ursula Ballmer. I manage our Row 34 and our Island Creek farm. So um, Skip's pretty, pretty into fishing as well. So uh, if you ask him very nicely, you can steal a work boat. And so we just got into our little Jeep and drove on down to Duxbury. Ryan's actually never been there before. So it was really cool to show him the bay. We got to see a couple of the oysters out there and how everything can coexist. And we met up with uh, Ursula and Ben, who is our kind of like our ocean guide for the day. I mean, from the boat, you just basically drive around looking for birds and uh, bait balls and cast around there. There's multiple different ways to catch stripers. The way we were doing out the other day was uh, bucktail, so it's a little head, a uh, weighted head with little feathers that come out like a little tutu. So it gives it a little like action in the back so that when you pull it through the water, it's going like this. You kind of want to go during a changing tide. Right after slack water is kind of when things start moving around, currents, food, uh, and that's when the fish start feeding. Usually you catch keepers um, kind of end of the spring and then in the fall. You spend all this time trying so hard to get these fish to eat something that they normally won't eat. You know, you're fishing, you're like, it's never gonna happen, and then yank. Like you're just your rod tip just goes down, and, and there's just like you know setting that and reeling it, and just like being able to do that is just kind of like exhilarating. I definitely caught the most. <laughs> First, with any fish, if you intend to keep the skin on it, you have to scale it and then you gut it. Um, sometimes you don't always have to. If you want to use it as a whole fish, you would gut it. Make sure that's all clean, no belly burn, no, nothing like that. Then you start from the collar of the fish, right, right underneath its gill plate. And you cut underneath that up to the first uh, pectoral fin. So you cut all the way down there, start to the back of the fish, and down the spine all the way to the end of the tail. So then you go back to the head of the fish and you just use the tip of your knife to travel down along the bones. And you just keep doing that as you get farther and farther into the fish until you reach the uh, rib bones. Uh, striped bass are considered a round fish, so they require an up and over cut. So you're literally cutting up and over the rib cages versus like salmon where it's a flat cut where you would cut through the rib cage and on the other side to get the uh, belly meat and then down and out to the rest of the fish. Flip it over, rinse and repeat. The striped bass is uh, pan seared, so nice dry piece of fish, hot oil, lay it skin side down, let it sit there for a second, then press it to make sure that that skin is laying flat between the pan. If any air pockets or water is caught in between there, that's what gives you that uh, crispy skin with the bubbles in it, like where it's not all flat. It's skin oil pan, that's it. Nothing in between, no air, no water. Um, baste it in the oil, put it, finish it in the oven, come back out, a little butter, a little lemon juice, baste again, and that's it. Plate it up, yeah, right on top. Check out the wiggle on that guy. Eee. 